What up everyone, Michael B. Petty here. Um, things have been a little bit quiet in Amberland. Um, I have a feeling that's because she's on her very limited calorie diet right now, which consists of chocolate bars and milkshakes. So I have a feeling she doesn't have much energy to put forth into her vlogging career right now. But one thing that seems consistent in Amber Lynn's life is that even when she's not trying to find drama, drama always seems to be able to follow her. <laughs> I recently was tweeted Facebook messages or Facebook um, screenshots of Becky's family kind of coming for Amberlynn. We don't know for sure if they were in fact talking about Amberlynn, but all points are leading to yes. And Becky's family seems to have in fact stirred the pot. Already stirred the pot. You've already let these people know. Right. And this is all we're going to be hearing. She about. likes it. And you know what she, she likes the that? drama, she likes the attention because she never got it. So I thought I would break that down a little bit. But before I get into that, I kind of want to talk about this clip that was in Destiny's video today. And here it is. I am drama free. Okay. That's one of the reasons I was so tired of Amberlynn. Just, it's just too much drama and, I, and I'm not a drama person. Just not. Like, I just didn't want to be any part of it. I don't want to be any part of this. I don't, like, I understand that hate comes with YouTube or whatever, but... Amber Lynn has nothing to do with my channel now, mine and Dana's channel, mind you. Mine and Dana's channel, no, it has nothing to do with, she has nothing to do with what me and Dana do in our lives. She is, it's her and Becky now, and me and Dana now. There's no, me and Amber Lynn, oh, do you still talk to Amber Lynn? I mean, I do talk to Amber Lynn every now and again. I mean, we're friends or whatever, and we're civil with each other, but... Y'all always mentioning Amberlynn, Amberlynn, Amberlynn. If you want to talk about her, go to her page. This is mine and Dana's, so. I don't know if she is per se shading Amberlynn by saying this, but I do want to point out that I do think that other, I mean, there's things that Destiny have done that are really annoying or whatever, i.e. like hitting the dog and shit like that. But um, I do think that Destiny is generally like, an okay person like I don't she seems pretty decent to me in fact I think that she's actually done a lot of growing since leaving that relationship with Amberlynn that relationship with her stifled her incredibly um it kept her very stagnant um she seems more mature she seems to be doing things she seems to be doing positive and productive things um I haven't seen her that mature sounding or acting in a long time um so with that being said, I kudos to her for like moving on with her life and growing up and doing responsible things, it seems. I do, however, think it's a little bit ironic to be like, we don't want to be associated with Amberlynn. Girl, that channel was founded with Amberlynn in the videos. And the truth is that Amberlynn is a bigger fish than we all are. So if she's talked about or she's even mentioned once, people are going to like always talk about it. That's just what it is. I think you should just get over that. You will always be associated with Amberlynn as long as Amberlynn's star seems to shine bright. Um, that's just how it's going to be. I don't think there's anything that's going to deter that or stop any of those comments. So I think the best way to at least pretend to be unbothered is to in fact act unbothered and that means to just not talk about it vague booking and stuff like that doesn't really do anything in the long run if you are in fact unbothered then just be unbothered you don't have to like uh, you don't have to address anything or stuff like that like because personally i don't think you really need to address the amberlynn stuff just keep it pushing like and no one would like associate with or they won't associate with you with her as much i don't think they will ever stop but they won't be as much now i want to get into the Becky family drama. Now, if there's one constant thing in Amberlynn's life is that she seems to always have some kind of turmoil with the family members of her partners. Now, we've seen that with Casey's mother. We've seen that. We don't really know much about Crystal's parents, but given the fact that Crystal's parents pretty much vetoed the trip and all of that for her to go and see Amber and all that, I would ascertain that in fact, maybe Crystal's parents are kind of done with her too. Destiny's family was very done with her. I mean, who can forget the fact that Amber was going around spreading all of that news about Destiny's mom miscarry miscarrying and all that stuff. I mean, it was really disgusting. So, and we, we all remember Kara like saying those things in those DMs and then like having to retract them because Amber, I'm sure, threw a fit. 
But now it seems that Becky's family has probably finally hit their boiling point and are fucking done too. So this seems to be a consistent pattern in her relationships is that she comes on super heavy, super their family is my family, blah, blah, blah. And then... I think the family puts up with it after a while. And then after they see how toxic the environment is that their family member is in, they start to pull away or they start to become vocal about their um, displeasure or their distaste and like what is happening with their family member. And there's a lot going on in Becky and Amberlynn's relationship that is just negative. I mean, Becky is unemployed. She's gained a lot of weight. She's alienated herself from her friends. She seems to be alienating herself from her family. And, Honestly, I I would not be surprised if her family is just kind of frankly over it and this was just kind of like they I think maybe they th- that they thought that or the sister and the mom thought that by posting these on Facebook. I don't know why you would do that. Here are the Instagram posts. The first one this is from Becky's sister. I'm going to block out her name and everything, but um these are from Becky's sister. She writes, "Um when you- and Michael going to be reading, all right? And when you have pets, and she posted this meme, and it says, a drug trust, a dog trusts you with his life. You're his whole world. Never abuse that trust. And then her comment is, and when you have pet slash pets that they are yours, not anyone else's, you take care of them, you take them to potty, you feed them, you clean up after them, you don't make someone else do it, and then sit there talking about how good of a mommy you are to your fur babies. It's disgusting. Now, do we know for sure if she's talking about Amberlynn, no, we don't. But judging by the language in the post, talking about they're yours, um, clean up to clean, clean up to them. Um, don't go around talking about how good of a mommy you are to your fur babies. That sounds to me like that is pointed at a particular person, and I d- doubt that there is someone else in Becky's sister's life that goes around touting how great of a fur mommy they are to their fur babies, okay? Like, that's very specific language. I know, I mean, I refer to my dog and stuff. Well, I only refer to him as my dog, but, like, I talk to him like he's a human being. In fact, we ran through the cardiac cycle the other day with him, and he sat there looking at me like I was fucking crazy. But you know what? Sometimes you just got to say this shit out loud over and over again to who or whatever will listen to you until you get it right. So that's... You know, so I, people do strange behavior and strange things with their, or it's strange, I guess you should say. I mean, it's not that strange, but people do things. And Amber calling her children her fur babies and her being a mommy and da 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 da, and how vocal and public she is about how doubting, she, what a doting fur mommy she is. I mean, that is very Amber Lynn. And we know from the past that Amber Lynn doesn't do anything. We know that she couldn't even be bothered to get out of bed to let Twinkie out to go to the bathroom. We have vlog footage of Becky doing that. We know in the past that it was Destiny who had to take care of the cat. She changed the litter boxes. She did all of that stuff. We, Amber doesn't do any of that because Amber's fucking lazy. She likes to like claim to be this amazing person, but doesn't do anything to back it up. So that has been a consistent pattern of behavior for Amberlynn Reed. So I 100% believe that this is, in fact, pointed towards Amberlynn Reed. And Becky's mother replied, ha ha, Raffle Ellen, I don't even know. I don't even know that like baby boomers know this, knew this kind of shit, but she wrote, It wouldn't breathe if it wasn't a requirement. Surprised it wipes its own butt. Finish her. Fatality. (laughs) Now, that's obviously not about the dog because you don't have to wipe a dog's ass or whatever, your pet's ass. But who do we know that could possibly have trouble going to the bathroom? and sufficiently cleaning themselves. Now, I'm not trying to be rude or be a dick. Logistically, it's a, it's a possibility that Amber, I mean, we've heard her talk about how she has trouble showering and stuff like that. We've all watched My 600 Pound Life. We know how incredibly difficult it is for people of her size to sufficiently clean themselves. Would Becky's mother and Becky's sister be privy to information that we wouldn't? 100% absolutely. Now, I can only imagine what must go through their minds if they if this is in fact true and how 100% just probably disgusted they are by the fact that 
this is what's going on. Now I'm gonna continue going on with this and then I'm gonna give you like my final thoughts. Becky's sister wrote, I don't have time for drama today and I really, and I'm really not in the mood for it. So if you feel the need to talk to me, wait until I get home, thanks. So done with the day. I asked people to not start drama today because my heart was acting up, but no, they gotta go starting stupid stuff and acting all bad. I guess I have lost a family member, but a lot, I guess I have a lost a family member, but a line has been drawn and there is no way erasing it. I have been calling it, I haven't called everything from trialers to a liar simply over a Facebook post where I stated my opinion. Guess some of some can't handle my, the guilt anyways. Hooking up to my heart monitor tomorrow, so I literally mean no, need no mean no drama. I don't need it, nor do I want it. I'm done. Okay, I honestly hate people that are like, I don't want to start drama. I'm not here for the drama, but then like cause the drama. You want the drama. You're here for the drama. Like, just like call it for what it is. If you don't want none, don't start none. That's always been a big motto, right? Like, just... Don't do it. And if you, in fact, do have to go on a heart monitor tomorrow, I don't think that starting a giant battle with a family member online is the way to go about having a unstressful day. So right away, girl, like, mm, I don't know about that. But she's talking about how that Facebook post has essentially ended a, fa ended a relationship with a family member. And this is the problem with vague booking, right? This is why in general, I don't like subscribe to that like notion. Just like if, if you wanna, if you have the balls to say it in a public, to just fucking say it and name their names. Say their names. If you're gonna say, say something, just say their fucking names. Like just do it, right? Then she posted this meme like, you may not be able to control someone's negative behavior, but you can control how long you participate in it. Sharing this again, some need to hear it like myself. I have to remove myself from situations where I say things that can truly hurt someone. Um, hard times will always reveal true friends. Yeah, I know who's got my back and who don't. <laughs> So if you don't, then feel free to remove yourself from my life because I'm done. I'm not laying down and letting anyone run me over anymore. I'm standing up for myself, my beliefs, and my opinions. If you don't like that, then feel free to go screw yourself. And then she's like, don't beef with my mama because they're... Then here come me and she don't control me. Like, I love that. I, I kind of... I'm like that 100% like with my grandmother or whatever. Like, don't fuck with my grandma. Like, because I will go off the fucking deep end. And we all know that Amber Lynn has been known to say negative things about her partner's family. And I would not be surprised if behind the scenes there are things that are being said that we are just not privy to again that are just, you know, and you can only take so much. Like there's there's so many lashes that only one person can take before they're like, you know what, fuck this, I'm fucking done. Especially from someone like Amber, dude. I can only imagine how condescending she is in real life, how better she is and she how how she thinks she's so much better than all these people. I mean, we've had to hear from time and time again how she hates the town that she lives in. She hates everything there. She wishes she wasn't there. She thinks she's so above it just because she's making some money on YouTube now she when before she you know like she just hates it she fucking hates it and I can only imagine that hearing things like that I mean if I was here and someone lived here too and they were constantly like downing my hometown I'd be like you know what bitch then fucking leave like why are you here then like no one wants to hear that so I can only imagine how annoying that must get and then she wrote Done, done, and done. If you don't like me or if you want to follow a cult against me, you know, the Misty Hater Club, then feel free to delete me because I'm done with the drama. Girl, people who post things like I'm done with the drama are never done with the drama. They love the drama. They're here for the drama. Just admit that you love this. You love every second of it. Um, and then she wrote in a comment underneath that, I'm just tired of the childish drama. This it isn't high school. The things they were doing affect people's lives. The sad part is I thought they were family. Guess blood, is thick Guess blood isn't thicker than water. And then someone wrote underneath that, no, it's not. Adults need to act like adults instead of causing harm to other people's lives. But some people don't get that, unfortunately. And then Becky's sister responds, no, they don't. And they don't care because they look like they think as long as they have money and they are be then they are better than anyone else. And because they have money, everyone believes their every lie that comes out of their mouth. I'm just sick of the carousel of drama over one person. Others refuse to see them for what they are, a selfish bitch. And then this person responded, yep, went through a similar situation within the past few years. And then she replied, it's sad to know that you have to cut some people out of your life just to keep your sanity and your health. I have had such heart, bad heart problems since this began. It's literally making me physically sick. I just got to walk away and pray that someday they will see the light. And then they responded, you have to do what's best for you and your family, not everyone else. 
And then she responded, that's my goal. From now on, worry about me and mine. Screw everyone else. If they want to be my friend, it's, I'll be their friend. I'll be there until the end. And But I ain't, up, I ain't putting up with no one backstabbing me or saying one thing to my face and being called out that they... Then, blah, 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 blah. But uh, it's so hard to read this. I hate people that write like this. But I ain't putting up with no backstabbing me or say one thing to my face. And when it's called out, they act like they don't know what you're talking about. That's drama to the third degree. And I don't want to be, I don't want any part of it. I need a break. And then someone else wrote, first of all, there are a lot of people named Misty in Kentucky. I didn't realize this, but goddamn, okay? Um, <laughs> this person wrote, never have been, girl. I'm sorry you're going through what you're going through. And then Destiny's sister replied, Destiny's. And then Becky's sister replies, well, it has shown me how fake and manip manipulative people can be and how much it hurts. Things won't ever be the same. Just makes me question a lot of things. Like, is my sanity really worth the worry? It's not. But I can't help but think that it is, that it, think about it and I start to cry. Then I get mad because I'm crying. Then I get hurt because I'm mad. It's a vicious cycle. So pretty much she's just kind of commiserating with her friends about how she's potentially lost a family member or uh, how this is all affecting her. To me, this sounds like textbook Amberlynn Reed bullshit, okay? We all know that everything in Amberlynn's life revolves around Amberlynn. There's nothing that anyone else can have that is free of what her will is or what she wants. And I think as long as you play the part, she has no issues. But the second you kind of dissent from any little thing in her life, she can become incredibly manipulative and incredibly almost destructive. And I would not but put it past Amberlynn to have been sowing the seeds of dissension between, between Becky and her family to try to convince Becky to want to leave Lexington. Now, we've heard over and over again from Amberlynn about how she wants out of Lexington. She wants to be, or she wants, not Lexington, wherever the fuck they live. She wants out of wherever the fuck they live. Um, and she's tired of the small town rural life. She wants to be in the big city or whatever. I don't know why, because it's not like she does anything. But, but Becky is incredibly close to her family. So what is one way of convincing Becky to finally leave and to go on to better, bigger and better pastures, I guess? Um, ruin the relationship she has with her family. And it's really sad to see that because as much as we kind of get on Becky, I mean, for her, all her dead people thing and all that stuff that she constantly goes on about, it seems that she truly does love her family. And I can relate to that. I have family that I do love and support and am dear of. Like, I love them to death and I would do anything for. And I, I have a very small family. I don't know how big her family is, but I have a very small family. I don't have siblings, so... Uh, the family that I do have, I cherish, cherish immensely, and um, I love them to death. So I wouldn't want to leave them by any means. Of, like, I wouldn't want to be from them. And I think Becky is incredibly close to them, and I don't think she would be able to handle being far away from them. But if their relationship isn't good, if they're not talking, then it is much easier to convince someone to leave that situation. So I honestly would not be surprised if, like, this was maybe even a goal of Amberlynn's. I mean, and... I know that it's like, oh my God, like you're thinking like she's this evil person, blah, blah, blah. Look, if you watched any of my videos, you know that this is not far from what Amberlynn is potentially capable of, okay? She's done, I mean, she's used fake profiles. She's falsely accused people of rape. She neglects her fucking, her pets. I mean, she does this stuff, she does stuff like this all the time. So I would not put it past her to do something like this. So, you know, I just wanted to get this out there. I know things have been, there have been a lag or a lull with the whole Octavia thing. Um, I do have some plans in the future for some other videos regarding other YouTubers and scam diets that I've been researching. I just need to find the time to finally get out and make it. But I do have that coming in the future. So I'm going to end it here. Let me know what you think. Do you think that this stuff was about... Amberlynn, do you think Becky's sister and her, Becky's mom were in fact calling out Amberlynn? What do you think about Destiny finally trying to dissociate herself from Amberlynn? Oh, the camera died. Um, so anyway, this is all coming at a very interesting time. Um, Amber's finally trying to, I don't know, I mean, not finally trying. She's been trying to lose weight, but she started this whole Octavia thing. So I can only imagine what kind of wrench this would put into all of that. But um Anyway, um, if you want to hit me up on Twitter, I'm at Michael B. Petty, and on Instagram, also at Mikey, Michael B. Petty. So remember to hit subscribe, like, comment down below. And until next time, toodles!